Okay, so worth noting, I've made some changes since you were last in here. <laughs> There's no keeping up with the tech industry these days. I can crank up the simulation to maximum sensory synchronization if you're up for it. Let's take this one step at a time. Understood. If you're looking for something a little more intense, I can always adjust the settings for you later. This bit will let me know how much information will be fed to you during your time in the Animus. You don't need to worry about me. I've got this. A little autonomy never killed anyone. At least, I don't think so. Just let me know if you need assistance, and I can always add the helpers back in. Listen, Layla, before you go off, if this book is right, this fear, this story, it will change everything. You're putting a lot of faith in a fairly unreliable source. Historian or not, this guy wrote about magical objects and the will of the gods. He's not Homer. Irodotos was the first recorded historian, so there's a lot more truth in that text than you think. I mean, what better way is there of finding Isu artifacts than by trusting in the guy who claimed to meet an actual descendant? I know, but... I need you to trust me. You could be right. This spear, this book, it could all be crap. But something tells me it isn't, and I'm certainly not gonna let Abstergo find out first. You're right. We haven't got much to lose anyway. There's just one small problem. What is it? This manuscript is in rough condition, to say the least. The DNA found on the spear has identified two different individuals. You're gonna have to pick which strand of DNA to pursue. The choice is yours.
Face, get down here. Cyclops got a message for you. <clears throat> Tell your boss he can stick it. That's for last week. <laughs> Malaka. The Cyclops said you like to act tough, so act tough. Get a little closer, and I will. You should know by now. The Cyclops always collects his debt. You have a lesson to learn. If the Cyclops wants to teach you, tell him to come here himself. Never mess with the Cyclops! Last week? <laughs> This shit happens every week. <sighs> I can't keep doing this. <whistles> nah. Thanks for the warning. <sighs> what happened to you? It's nothing, Phoebe. All taken care of now. The Cyclops again, huh? Hasn't he learned his lesson yet? Apparently not. Of course. Help yourself. You hungry too, Icarus? <laughs> Do you think Zeus will bless me with an ego like he blessed you, Alexios? Maybe you could ask him for me. I'll try to put in a good word for you. Finally. So, what are you doing here? Oh, I almost forgot. Marcos is looking for you. Uh, what does that weasel want now? Don't know. 
He wants you to meet him at his new house. On his vineyard. Wait, what? A vineyard? Adlaka! It's on the road to Sami. He says wine will make him rich. Since when has he had the vineyard? Yesterday, I think. So, Marcos, who owes me drag me, is buying vineyards. With what money? I don't know. Where can I find Marcos's new beautiful estate? You know the statue of Zeus on Mount Ainos? It's south of that. Well, I guess I owe Marcos a little visit. Thank you, Phoebe. <laughs> I'll go tell Marcos you're coming. Go, go! My hair! 